meeting of the Gadsden City Council will now come to order. The chair calls on City Clerk Ivan Nelson for the roll call. Councilman Harris? Here. Williams? Here. Councilman Avery is in the building. He's not in his seat right now. Councilman Eccles? Here. Stewart? Here. Cannon? Here. Reed? Here. We have a quorum present. The meeting is open for business. I'm going to ask Phil Swindle to lead the invocation today. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day you have given us, and thank you for the opportunity to live in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Father, we thank you for these men who have given of their lives to spend time making decisions for this city. Thank you for all who work in this city to serve those who pay the bills. And Father, we thank you for the opportunity to join here and experience democracy as the way it was designed. God, give these men the wisdom to make the decisions they need to make for the better of this city. Give them the guidance to, uh, to listen to those who have elected them and to make the decisions for the betterment of all individuals in this city. Father, be with the men and women who serve our nation to protect the freedoms that we experience today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the work sessions and the council meeting held on July the 17th. So moved. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to approve minutes. Chair will entertain a motion to ratify <coughs> payment of the account for the week of July the 13th through the 19th. So moved. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to ratify payment of the accounts. Proclamations, Mayor, is he not here? Unfinished business, we have none today. This is a time and place is advertised to conduct a public hearing, allowing anyone to speak in opposition to or in favor of a resolution assessing nuisance abatement lien against property located at 48 East Wilkerson Avenue. Dale Griffin and Philip Ray Griffin being the last known owners. This is for rehabilitation and the amount is $7,358.94. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of it? Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. 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 Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Our next public hearing is a resolution granting annulment of a portion of Herring Avenue. The city is requesting the annulment and the utility companies have been notified. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this resolution? Does anyone wish to speak in favor of it? Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. Mr. President, at this time I'd ask for a table. Second. Second. Hello. Um, I'll just say indefinite. I don't, uh, yeah, let's just say indefinite. Yes, I don't wait. How many? Seven, seven, seven days. days. Okay, then seven days then. A second. second. Those in favor to table the resolution for seven days, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries to table the resolution for seven days. Our final public hearing is an ordinance rezoning property located at 127 River Road from B2 General Business District to B3 Central Business District. Realty Income has requested a rezoning for the purpose of on-site alcohol sales at an existing restaurant. Is there anyone who would like to speak in opposition to this real ordinance? Is there anyone who would like to speak in favor of it? 
The ordinance was presented today for the first reading. The council will vote on it next week. 12 is a resolution authorizing application and acceptance of a grant from FEMA Firefighter Assistance <coughs> Program to ret retrofit. I think that's been changed to two, but this is three fire stations with backup generators. This is a 10% match, which will be included in the 2013 fire tax budget. Quotes are still being obtained, so the amount has not been determined. This chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. 13 is a resolution authorizing agreement with Job Corps. This is our cooperation agreement between the Gas and Fire Department and the Center, which is a federal reservation. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. 14 is a resolution authorizing agreement with the Alabama Bass Federation Nation Youth Tournament. This is for the city to sponsor a youth feasting tournament on August the 15th, 2012. The amount is $1,500. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, <coughs> let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Fifteen is a resolution authorizing agreement with Coosa River Team Trail. This is for the city to sponsor fishing tournaments <coughs> each year for the next three years between the months of February through November at Coosa Landing and the amount is $15,000 per year. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. 16 is a resolution authorizing an agreement with SNME for replacement and installation of explosive gas monitoring wells at the closed landfill, and the amount is $8,500. The chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. 17 is a resolution authorizing an agreement with S and S and ME for a jurisdictional water assessment on Gaz and Airport Authority's prospective properties located on Airport and Steel Station Roads. The amount is $4,600 and the Airport Authority has committed to contribute $1,500 of the fee. Chair will entertain a motion to adopt this resolution. So moved. Second. Is there any discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as <coughs> saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. New business, is there any new business? Hey, Mr. President, I have one. It's a resolution 278, authorizing agreement between the city of Gadsden and the state of Alabama Emergency Management Agency. Has to be unanimous consent to consider. Second. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? <coughs> Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, <coughs> consent has been granted. I move to adopt. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? Yes, Mr. President. This is uh, asking for a grant or applying for a grant from <coughs> FEMA. It's for the Safe Rooms Grant Fund. Any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? <coughs> Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be known as saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries to adopt. Any other new business? Mr. President, I have a resolution I'd like to ask for unanimous consent to consider this morning. It's a resolution authorizing the appointment of Jamie Sledge to replace uh, Janet Davis 
who resigned from the uh, Turntine Avenue Architectural Review Board. Second. Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to consider the resolution today, <laughs> let it be number saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? Consent has been granted. I'll ask for passage, please. Second. Second. Is there any discussion? i just like to say uh, thank you to all the people who serve on these boards. Uh, no, no money involved. It's just a citizen stepping up and uh, serving their community. And we have a lot of boards that uh, throughout the city that uh, these people just appreciate what they do, really. Any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. Aye. Uh, Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Is there any other new business? Mr. President, I have a resolution I'd ask for unanimous consent. And this is a pr approving the issuance of a special event alcoholic beverage license. Second. Clerk, you take the vote. Those in favor to consider the resolution today, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Mm -hmm. Consent has been granted. Make a motion we approve. Second. <clears throat> is there any discussion? Yes, this is the um, new uh, beer company, uh, for lack of a better word, I guess, uh, that we have here in the city of Gaston. Uh, I don't know if most people realize we have a brewery here, and uh, they're located on uh, Henry Street and North 6th Street in the old Puckett building. And uh, they're going to have an event on August the 11th from uh, to August the 12th, I believe that's what it is, yeah. This was supposed to be approved on the 17th of July, which was last week. But anyway, they're going to have a special event, and that's what this is for. Any other discussion? Clerk, will you take the vote? Those in favor to adopt the resolution, let it be number saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries to adopt. Any other new business? Department reports, <coughs> committees, boards, or any <coughs> remarks by the mayor and the council? Billy, you want to start? Yes, uh, Mr. President. I have I have one item I, I would like to bring to everybody's attention. That that is a fair housing summit that's going to be held at the Pittman Theater at 629 Broad Street, Gadsden, Alabama, <coughs> on August the first, from nine to twelve. Uh, this is a fair housing summit, and you will come here because you will want to learn your rights and responsibilities under the Fair Housing Act. All residents have the right to rent or buy a home. Any effort to block your right to fair housing is called housing discrimination. Fair housing means you may freely choose a place to live without regard to race, color, religion, sex, national origin, disability, or familial, familial uh, status. Fair housing is a right protected by federal and state laws and housing discrimination is against the law. This summit will be held by the Legal Services of, of Alabama and the Fair Housing Center of Northern Alabama and the city of Gadsden. So I invite all of you, if you have concerns in this area, to come out to the Pittman Theater uh, on August the 1st at 9 o'clock for this summit. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just, you know, just to reiterate, it's, uh, it's almost amazing that in 2012, we're still having to have discussions about um, the yeah. meaningfulness and the need for fair housing. But, uh, but uh, please, those of you who have concerns or just uh, have a desire for more information, come out August the 1st at the Pittman Theater. Um, I'm going to steal a page from uh, Councilman Stewart's book. Um, we covered a lot of ground today, uh, and a lot of people who attend the council meetings or may be watching on television. You know, it may to, to those folks it may appear, or to some it may appear that we've just blown through this. But we do spend quite a, uh, a good bit of time discussing these items in our work sessions. So those who are interested in some of that background, the, the work sessions are public as well, and you have that opportunity to attend those if you if you choose to. So uh, so we are re reviewing this information before we vote on it. Um, the last thing I'd like to say is. Uh, our hearts and prayers go out to uh, the families uh, affected by the the horrible incident in uh, Aurora, uh, Colorado. Um, you know that that incident is just so far outside the realm of what is normal for us, until it's just really hard to wrap your mind around it. And it's you know we really feel sorry for those uh, those families. I, you know let, let me say this. I you know 
there's just a, a wave of fear and timidness uh, throughout the political community as it relates to addressing uh, the need for, um, for, for, for dialogue about w uh, assault weapons and, and things of those nature. And I, I, I am a huge proponent of Second Amendment rights, but um, when you look at the amount of the amount of stuff that this individual had, the amount of weaponry, and, and just all that he showed up at that uh, theater with, it just bothers you. And uh, you know, there, there's no need for any individual to have that much of an arsenal. So, uh, you know, I, I'm just a city councilman. So, I, you know, maybe I shouldn't even be talking about this. But, uh, but again, those of us who have a concern about that, let's really tug, tug on the hearts of those who can make a change. And, and let's open this dialogue again. Thank you. Uh, Derek, I thank you. You hit it on the head. We, we do need to be talking about it. As a matter of fact, I just attended the National League of Cities Fair meeting in, in Nashville. And Bob uh, Broom, who is the mayor pro tem of uh, Aurora, was, along with one of the other council members, was in, was in attendance uh, at that meeting. And of course, they, they kind of briefed everybody Friday morning in our meeting as to what was going on. And, uh, uh, I mean, what, uh, what is the purpose and, and why can't we look at uh, doing something about assault rifles? I mean, if I'm going hunting and I've got a clip with 100 bullets in it, and if I shoot the deer, uh, ain't going to be any meat left to eat. I mean, you know, come on, that just, that just don't make any sense whatsoever. And, 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 you know, as elected officials, particularly on the local level, we're the ones who, who catch it. The guys up there on the big stage uh, pass everything down to us, and then they expect us to, to show the responsibility as to what they don't do. And, and it's, so it's got to be from the ground up. There's got to be a groundswell saying that we've got to change this thing. Uh, the NRA, I know, is very, very powerful. They got a lot of money, uh, but we got the votes, and, and we need to start voting for those individuals who's going to be looking at changing the rules and regulations when it comes down to assault rifles, uh, uh, a bullet uh, that pierces through armor and through protection of, of, of uh, protective gear. I mean, why do we need that? I mean, that's within itself is inviting those type of issues. Uh, I just happened to see a, a debate on, on, on TV last night uh, where this guy was trying to sell the idea that uh, America was not that much of a violent nation uh, since we don't have uh, gun control. Uh, I think we've had, I think they said 8,000 people killed last year, and I think in Britain it was 100 or less, less than 100. And his argument was that before they had gun control uh, in Britain, they had less than that. And I thought, okay, I, I'm missing something here. You know, they, they still got less than 100 folks and we got 8,000 folks. Uh, it, it's just something wrong with that picture. But they, the, but they sell those issues and those type of ideas and, and to the people stand up and, and say something, <clears throat> then we're going to forever uh, have that problem. Uh, but uh, again, like I said, Bob Broom uh, was there. We took a moment out of silence and prayer for the people in Aurora. Uh, and it, it could be Gadsden next. It could be someplace else next. We've got to stop the violence. And with that, I'm going to say that there is a Stop the Violence rally that's going to be held here in the city of Gadsden on August the 4th at the amphitheater. Uh, hopefully, I'll get all the details out to everybody in, in time. Uh, Shane, we, we hadn't set the, the time on that yet, I don't think. Uh, and with that in mind, I, at this point, I think the city is going to be a co-sponsor. And would I be in order, Mr. Attorney, if I made a motion that the city co-sponsor the Stop the Violence rally at this point in time? I think I could I do that? Okay. So at this time, I would make a motion that the city of Gaston co-sponsor the Stop the Violence rally at the amphitheater on, on August the 4th. Second. There's a motion on the floor. And a second, yeah. And a second. Yes. I didn't hear the second. Yeah, he, Councilman Williams seconded. Can you take the vote? 
Those in favor of the motion? Uh, Those in favor of the motion to uh, co-sponsor the rally, let it be known by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <clears throat> we have a unanimous vote to co-sponsor. Uh, thank you, fellow council members. There's going to be a number of organizations that's going to be co-sponsoring this. Uh, and believe it or not, it was planned prior to the incident in Aurora, Colorado. But it's, it's, it's a timely issue, and I think uh, the citizens uh, in Gadsden and every place need to rally to to see if we can't stop the violence. That's all. Yeah. Uh, just to touch on what uh, Councilman Williams said about, uh, we went over some very important issues this, this morning and didn't seem to discuss any of them, but we had just discussed them upstairs. So if you really want to see your council at work, come to the work sessions upstairs, 10 o'clock, Tuesday mornings, and, and uh, you'll, you'll see us really uh, at work. Can we televise those? <laughs> suits me. Well, I don't know about that. They get heated sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I, I think they need to be televised. <laughs> There's another issue in, that uh, is taking place in our city and, and taking place in District 5 alone right now, and I'm concerned about it, and that's uh, the state law that says that you park a certain <laughs> way on a city street. <laughs> We've had 34 tickets written in my district alone, uh, and I kind of felt like we were being picked on, but I, I've been assured that that's going to be a state, a citywide uh, endeavor. So go over it one more time how you park on the city street. You park with the passenger side to the curb or the edge of the street, no more than 18 inches from the street. Uh, and it's it's something they are enforcing. 34 tickets in, in, my, in the last couple of weeks in my district, and the chief assures me that it's going to be a citywide uh, program so it's the state law it's not our law and I, if it was our law I'd li like to change it no, anyway no, no, no. that's uh, some information you should be aware of and it's also an insurance issue too yeah <clears throat> that's true if you parked in the wrong way and you somebody hits your car the insurance won't cover it so there's there's uh, so you're violating state law yeah that's an insurance issue anyway whatever it's worth there it is <laughs> Johnny Thank you, Mr. President. I want to thank everyone that came out to the music on Megan at the Ibam C Gazebo this weekend. We had about 120 people out, run out of food. This is the first time we run out of food. We thought the weather might keep a few people off, but it didn't. I really appreciate all those that came out. Last night, we've uh, had a Alabama City Merchants Association meeting. The Alabama City Merchants are starting back up. They're going to start having maybe some art on Wall Street and some stuff like that going on. I appreciate all those folks who was in attendance last night. Uh, we are going to have a big Labor Day celebration, Labor Day at the gazebo in Alabama City. I don't know what time it's going to start yet. We're going to have antique cars. We'll have inflatables for the kids. Motorcycles will be there. We've got four or five bands already lined up. So that should be a big turnout. That'll be Labor Day. I saw them, I think, the second or third of September. First Monday in September, Labor Day, that's when it'll be. And I also do want to thank, on another note, thank the fire department. There was a house fire we had over on Dwight about 3 o'clock Sunday morning, and the fire department was right there, and I seen those guys out there. It was hot, and they was in that house trying to put that blaze out. No one got hurt in that incident, I'm thankful for that. But I just want to say I do really appreciate the fire department for all their efforts they put in that. <coughs> In District Six this Sunday morning. That's all I have. Ben, you got yep. rid of all those hot dogs finally, huh? <laughs> uh, there's more coming. Trust oh, okay. me. Okay. <laughs> You've been having them about six months. I didn't know. It. I expect all of y'all here at this round table here to be there Labor Day, because there will be free food and hot dogs and hamburgers that <laughs> night. I'll, I'll come. They should be fresh now. At least it said hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> Going all out for Labor Day. Trust me. That's all I got. Mm. Man. I did want to tell Deverick, he told me he had a raccoon problem, and I'm going to send two coyotes over next week. To take care of <laughs> Don't worry about it. I may have to cage them up there, but I'll get them over there, too. Yeah, I, I, just, um, I just need them there long enough to leave a scent. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll come back and take care of the coyotes. That'll be all right. Uh, grass. It's been raining. It's been hot. The grass is growing like crazy. Uh, Thank you, Ty Jackson and Randy Gladden, for cutting in my district. It looks real good. Oh. But, but, uh, we're a little bit short-handed on grass. It's going to be a while before we get all the way around the city, and I know that. 
but you know I'm a <clears throat> appreciative of what they did for me. But keep in mind that the grass is growing at a at a faster rate than we can keep up with it. And I think that's the, that's the big part. Um, you were talking about gun control. <clears throat> I have to take it all the way back to Washington to the very top. We got so many gun control laws now that aren't being enforced is our problem. And the dialogue that, and, and I agree with you, Derek, the dialogue that we need is not for new laws, it's for enforcing the ones we got. Mm -hmm. And then making people uh, know what's going on, keep them informed and this sort of thing. We're not doing I could have just as easily thrown out three hand grenades that I can put in my pocket and killed a whole lot more people than he killed those guns. Really could have. But that's beside the point. It was terrible. It was awful. In regards to how they went, it doesn't make any difference. But I want to go back to dialogue and bring it up on existing laws on the books now and quit this old stuff about running around making new laws that nobody's going to enforce. That's all. If there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion. We adjourn. So moved.